Back at you. Your boy Del Rey, Richardson, Platinum Artist, Platinum Songwriter, Straight Game TV. Let's go. UMG, uh, Sir Lucian, Lu, uh, Lucian Grange, they are simply not having it. And this is what I'm, you know, I was trying to tell you. Hey, Jewel King, what's happening? Robert Brown, we back. I had to come back. I had to come back. Um, dropping news. Rondell Hartley, dropping news. Yeah. Uh, Universal Music Group and Sir Lucius, uh, 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 I'm sorry, Lucian uh, Grange, they have blasted uh, Little Rod's lawyer and the claims that they made. And this is serious because now we're going to see if Little Rod's uh, lawsuit can stand the test of his lawyer are uh, possibly being sanctioned. And, and if you understand what this is, this is tantamount like to what Keefe D's lawyer uh, uh, was doing in regards to taking Keefe D's case from that perspective. Uh, but not so as much, but like, you know, when somebody take a case they take a case pro bono. They're trying to boost their career, boost their name, get their name out there um, as far as being a lawyer. But Universal Music and um, uh, Lucian Grange, they have um, they come out. They have come out with all guns blazing and they got deep, deep pockets. And as we know, uh, Lil Rod's lawyer is. Um, is basically uh, taking his case pro bono which means usually Lil Rod is not paying him. I want to I wanna get into this, man, because this is very, very important for the people that don't know. Thank you guys for coming back and joining me. I appreciate it. Miss Matthews, what's good? Hey, what's good is that uh, Sir Lucius, Lucian Grange and Universal have come back to, uh, yeah, they coming out guns blazing. Basically, they saying that uh, Lil Rod's lawyer it's clout chasing. Basically, attorneys for Uno Music Group, CEO uh, Lucian Grange, uh, have basically filed their own uh, claims that uh, he and the label aided and abetted when when Rodham said that um, Lord Rod said that the Universal Music Group and uh, Lucian Grange aided and abetted Sean Diddy Combs and his allegations in regards to the uh, the abuse claims. Basically, uh, they're saying that these accusations are so offensively false that they plan to seek legal penalties against the lawyer who filed them. So you're going to see now whether Lil Rod's lawyer believes in what Lil Rod has told him without presenting any real evidence. I, this is what I was trying to explain to you guys in the last live. I was trying to explain to you guys that, you know, the, the, it was, it's merely allegations at this particular point. I was trying to tell you that, you know, the pictures that they put in the lawsuit didn't really show anything that corroborated basically what Little Rod said. You understand what I'm saying? He said a lot of stuff. Like I said, anybody could say anything. But do you have the information and documentation that can prove what you're saying? They basically filed a motion to dismiss. Right. Universal Music Group and Lucian Grange has filed a motion to dismiss all claims against Universal Music Group and Grange. The label's lawyers have blasted a uh, uh, Tyrone Blackburn, who is Little Rod's lawyer. This is getting serious now because now you can see, you know, the big guns come out, man, and they start filing, uh, you know, motions, motions and motions for sanctions and things like that. And they're going to, uh, this is what you call in the legal world, a pissing contest. You know what I mean? And uh, right now, the bag is being held by Universal. The bag is being held by Sean Combs. So, you know, like I said, what I was talking about earlier, now we're going to see who really has the, 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 the fight, the might, and the money to be able to keep these allegations going because it don't look like Universal 
or Lucian Grange, they don't plan to settle. They don't plan to settle. You know what I mean? And and like I said, Little Rod, and that was the, the, the first video that I made was the fact that Little Rod had put um, Lucian Grange in the lawsuit. And I, and I said in that, if you guys remember, I said like, yo, I don't know why he do that. I, I don't think that, um, you know, Mr. Grange has nothing to do with anything like that. You can't make him responsible for something that allegedly happened at uh, Sean P. Diddy Combs' house. You know what I mean? You, you just can't do that. And so what, what, what they were trying to do was basically stack the lawsuit. Like I told you guys before, the same thing with Tupac's case. They basically stacked the charges against Tupac in regards to the case in New York. And Tupac did not take a plea. He fought it, you know what I mean? Got convicted of a lesser, but then, you know, got out on bail. And we we know what the rest of the story is. But in a motion to dismiss all claims, Universal Music Group and uh, 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 Lucian Grange, you know, the label's lawyers are blasting Tyrone Blackburn for filing a knowingly, knowingly false allegations of criminal wrongdoing without the slightest factual or legal basis. They said they would seek a so, seek so-called sanctions against him in future filings. And what they're basically saying is, they're saying that Tyrone Blackburn, either you drop this lawsuit or you face the wrath of what they're going to do. And a lot of times, as you've seen with, um, I, I did a video on, um, uh, David Kenner recently, and y'all, if y'all remember that, I did the video on him where David Kenner actually um, got sanctioned by a, a court in Los Angeles. I think it was for like $50,000 sanction. And like I said, you know, the next move, they'll be asking, you know, for, for him to lose his, his, his law license. So we're going to see if Tyrone Blackburn, uh, Lil Rob's lawyer, really believes and what Little Rob is saying, because like I said, once again, if you look at that filing on um, the lawsuit, I don't see anything that actually um, that actually is real evidence. I see a lot of accusations and things being written in there. But like I said, I didn't see any real evidence um, being presented as something that would be, um, you know, that would make somebody come to the table. Once again, we've seen when Cassie filed her lawsuit, right? We seen Cassie file her lawsuit and then we seen Diddy quickly act less than 24 hours later, right? So now what we're gonna see is whether, you know, Lil Rod lawsuit uh, stands the test of time, if you will. St stand the test of time, man. This is this is it's serious. It said basically a license uh, to practice law is a privilege. Uh, Donald uh, Zakarin uh, wrote a longtime music industry litigator who represents uh, Universal Music and Grange. Uh, Mr. Blackburn, plaintiff's lawyer, has misused that license to self-promote gratuitous, gratuitously false and reckless accusing the UNG defendants of criminal behavior. It's on and popping, man. <laughs> it's on and popping. Yeah. No, the rabbit hole is not getting deeper. The rabbit hole is about to close, man. I'm telling you right now, they're not going to, you know, listen, man. You can, you can say somebody did something, right? If you have evidence of them actually doing it, you know, in, in, in a world that we live in now and, you know, social media, people always making claims, they capping and they doing, I just told you guys about the black plane that people said that they and found in Antigua, you know, Puffy was on the run, you know, all of these false stories have been clouding the internet, right? But they're not true because when we actually seen what happened was he was in a, in a white plane with a blue tail and it was a chartered flight. It wasn't his plane, right? When you understand that and you understand what's going on right now, you'll get what I'm talking about. Like I said, the lawyer 
Donald Zakarin, longtime music industry litigator who represents UMG and Mr. Grange, uh, Mr. Blackburn, this is what they're saying about Lil Rob's lawyer. Mr. Blackburn, plaintiff's lawyer, has misused the license to, to uh, 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 practice law to self-promote. Right? Falsely and recklessly accusing Universal Music Group defendants of criminal behavior. Right? The filing came yesterday. They filed this yesterday, you know, just, you know, everybody checking out the docket today, right? They filed this yesterday, um, came in response to the lawsuit that was filed last night, month by a producer named Rodney Lil Rod Jones, who says that, that Sean Puffy Combs, uh, you know, uh, assaulted him and harassed him. The lawsuit is one of several abuse claims filed against Combs, in addition to an apparent federal federal criminal investigation that led to the raids of, you know, Sean's home, uh, uh, Puff Daddy's uh, uh, homes just yesterday, right? Comb, you know, they're basically saying Sean P. Diddy Combs strongly denies any allegation of wrongdoing. Remember, it's going to be put up or shut up because they didn't they didn't rush the file. It looked like everybody's preparing to fight because, like I said, if they're saying that they didn't do anything, and like I said, Sean P. Diddy Combs has kids at his house, so if underage people at his house, that's common, that's par for the course. That's not nothing foreign, you know what I mean? But for somebody to mischaracterize kids being over there, having a party with his kids, and so on and so forth, if somebody to mischaracterize that as him providing these kids with alcohol and doing all of these other things to file a lawsuit because you were owed money, because you felt like you were wronged in the situation regarding your publishing and, uh, uh, and, and the money that was owed to you is totally reckless. That's what I was trying to get y'all to understand earlier when I was when we when we had when we came on earlier, guys. You feel me? You know, to allege something that was done wrong to you, yeah, cool. You know, but like I said, none of those things were actually said at the time when Lil Rob was trying to raise money for his GoFundMe, right? Right. So you know, basically, what they're saying now is say, look, look. <laughs> We don't know what y'all are talking about, said basically. But the case filed by Jones went far beyond a uh, simple assault claim, right? Arguing that Diddy, Grange, and many others had also violated the Racketeer Influence and Corrupt Organizations Act, the federal RICO statute that uh, uh, that's more often used in criminal cases against mobsters and drug cartels. He also accused the various defendants of violating federal sex trafficking laws. This is serious, man. <laughs> look, look, man, look, man. Look, it just got serious, man. You thought it was serious before? It just got real serious, man. Because right now, Mr. Blackburn has a decision to make. Mr. Blackburn has the decision whether he's going to drop the case. You know what I mean? Or keep this case going because he do has, he does have the goods to prove what he's saying or he going to let this one go. But his reputation, Blackburn's reputation is forever going to be tarnished if he drops this case because we're going to see that it was all a nothing burger. That it's all a nothing burger. I'm telling you, I, this is what I was trying to say earlier, right? And, you know, people come with their, you know, when you got big money and, and lawyers involved that can file briefs and file claims and, you know, meet you right where you stand, it's a different ball game when you're dealing with somebody who has an, uh, 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 economic, who is economically disadvantaged from that perspective, right? Right? And they're basically saying, like, look, man, if this was a simple assault claim, then okay, cool. But they saying that Grange and Universal Music, you know, they had a RICO, uh, uh, racketeering influence and corrupt organization. You know, basically they all did this together. You know, now, you know, Universal Music is now into, you know, sex trafficking and all its whole craziness. You know what I mean? This is what I was trying to say. Right? 
and and basically what that universal music is saying they're saying that the claim those claims that racketeering and the rico act and you know sex trafficking laws and all of that were entirely invented by Lil rob's lawyers because as i told you go look at the go look at that uh the filing and the pictures and things that they put in the filing none of what they said in the lawsuit matches up with those pictures even though people wanted to get on here and jump and jump ahead of what they thought they knew like i said if you don't like puffy okay you don't like puffy you know what i mean but like i said when somebody come out and say something about you they have to put up the evidence it can't just be hearsay because now you got to go in the courtroom and you got to answer questions if they intend on keeping this lawsuit alive right they said basically the complaint hurls accusations of criminal racketeering and criminal sexual sex trafficking against universal music group defendants, respected individuals and companies having utterly nothing to do with the plaintiff's claims. And that is a, that's true. They don't have nothing to do with this, man. Like I said, you got a bunch of novices getting on the Internet trying to argue and make these insinuations in regards to, to oh yeah because they was there no, look man if you don't know nothing about how lawsuits and things like that work and like i said i told y'all in the beginning so this is not far-fetched from what i was saying that him putting Luc um lucian grange on that lawsuit was wrong like that man ain't got nothing to do with what he got to do with that right if your thing if your argument is with sean combs then let that be what that is but Universal is firing back saying the complaint hurls accusations of criminal racketeering and criminal sex trafficking against Universal Music Group defendants, respected individuals, and companies having utterly nothing to do with plaintiff's claims. I'm going to tell you right now, I'm going to tell you right now, that lawsuit going to get dismissed against Universal Music Group and, and Lucian Grange. Anybody want to make a bet? Zakarin wrote Wednesday filings. These accusations are recklessly false, and but for the fact that they are embodied in a complaint, would be libelous. Did you hear that? I'm gonna say it again. These accusations are recklessly false, and but for the fact that they are embodied in a complaint, would be libelous, meaning. That if what Lil Rob is saying about Lucian Grange and Universal Music, had it not been included in the lawsuit, that they would be suing for defamation. There would be a claim for defamation in regards to the claims that Lil Rob has made. Like I said, once again, you know, sometimes a lawyer can can use you, you know, um, you know, you want to file a lawsuit. You got to make sure that what you come, you got to make sure. It's clear about what you're about to say and do, and you can actually prove beyond a shadow of a doubt. But and I, I wouldn't even say re reasonable doubt because that you know the, the bar is much lower in, in a civil case, but I would say that you would have to be um pretty sure and have the evidence to uh represent your claims, right? Listen, in addition, the original allegations. <laughs> Universal Music Group lawyers also sharply criticized Blackburn for filing a second updated complaint this week, a filing that they claim drastically altered the allegations. So what they basically saying is uh, Mr. Blackburn is having a hard time uh, keeping his lies straight. Or better yet, keeping his facts straight. You understand? So he basically filed a new amended complaint from the one that he filed before. I think he's, I think his rush to try to go and get that money after Cassie had filed her lawsuit was a little bit. Um, yeah, yeah. It was, it was a misguided move. It was a misguided move. And I think that, uh, uh, uh Mr. Blackburn thought that he would get a, a, a quick settlement, but that's not the way it's going to go. That's not the end th with this, this, um, motion to dismiss all claims. That's not the way it's going to go. At, at least against Universal and um, uh, Lucian Grange, that's not the way it's going to go. Listen, in addition to the original allegations, Universal Music Group lawyer 
also sharply criticized uh, Lil Rob's attorney, uh, Mr. Blackburn, for a second filing, updating, updated complaint this week, a filing that they claim drastically altered the allegations. So did it happen like they said it happened? Well, we got to get our story straight again is what they saying, right? In his filing, Zakarin called it the worst lawyering he had seen in nearly 50 years as an attorney. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> it's going down, man. It's going down. It is going down. Yeah. Yeah, he should have kept it to Diddy. And like, a, hey, hey, what up, Reds? What up, Reds? My man, what's happening? <laughs> CX the producer in the building. My man, I started with him. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. What's up, man? Hope everything is good. Um, You know, so like I said, once again, when we're talking about what we're talking about, one must understand what, what, what they're basically saying. Man, look, it's, I, look, I'm going to tell you right now. If I'm Mr. Blackburn, because they basically saying that this dude is the worst lawyer that they've seen in the last 50 years. You talk about season, uh, 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 season people, season people who have been in law and practice law, whether it's um, um, copyright law, whether it's uh, criminal law, you know, and this is where you see high powered people who know judges, who know people. And the judge will look at this and be like, this was erroneously filed. This is egregious. And when one person is, is not allowed to be um, um, included in the lawsuit, then it makes the lawsuit, it starts to, starts to crumble. I'm trying to tell you guys, people were talking about, oh, don't compare, you know, Sean P. Diddy Combs to Tupac. No, I wasn't complaining, comparing Sean P. Diddy Combs to Tupac. I was comparing the similar situations in the way that the media jumps on things, right? before the facts and all of that come out. You understand what I'm saying? And so when you understand this, you understand where I'm coming from as far as what I'm saying. Like I said, and they go on. And all that time, listen, they're talking about Mr. Blackburn. They're talking about uh, Lil Rod's lawyer. They said that that um, they've called the, the lawsuit that he's filed and then filed Amendments to the lawsuit, they're basically saying that they that's this is the worst lawyering that they have seen in nearly 50 years as an attorney. Right? That's going to get lawyers and judges' attention right there. And they say, in all that time, I have never seen any attorney display anything remotely like the utter indifference shown by Mr. Blackburn towards his obligations as an attorney and they're right they're right man they're right they're right you 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 keep your lawsuit centered you keep your lawsuit fat based and like i said go look at that lawsuit you do not see any absolutely positively any of the pictures that coincide with the accusations all you hear is mere allegations. And you can't base you can't get no, you can't get a win like that, right? Listen, remember, Little Rod's lawsuit was about his publishing and money he felt like Diddy owed him. He was not making any kind of al allegations uh, 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 what so have you. I just told you. Um, what's that? Christian, um, um, Justin, and they all young kids, his twin daughters. So, you know, people, the kids come over the house. We can have a party over my daddy's house. Puffy can have parties, his kids too, too. And everybody over there kicking it, doing whatever they doing. But to make it seem like Puffy was over there child sex trafficking and, you know, and doing all of this old craziness and putting that in a civil lawsuit. And then not only that, then adding the CEO to Universal Music and Universal Music Group, hoping to put the squeeze on and get a settlement is reckless, man. I was trying to say this earlier, but like I said, you got a lot of people who might not like Puffy, and I don't care if you don't like somebody. Not liking somebody and coming and making frivolous and false accusations is a whole nother thing. But we see it a lot on the internet. Like they said with the Cardi B. Remember the Cardi B situation? 
with uh, 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 the, the girl Tasha K. She kept saying all of that craziness about Cardi B that she couldn't prove, and Cardi B sued her and won the lawsuit. Right? And Tasha K filed for bankruptcy. Once again, and all that time, uh, a universal music uh, a group lawyer is saying, uh, and Mr. Lucian Grange lawyer is saying, in all that time, I have never seen any attorney talking about Lil Rod's attorney, Mr. Blackburn, any attorney display anything remotely like the utter indifference shown by Mr. Blackburn towards his obligation as an attorney, uh, Zaka Zakarin wrote. I have never seen any lawyer in any pleading in any court accuse people and companies of criminal conduct without the slightest basis and then try to file an amended pleading completely, just opposing basically, you know, jetsoning every allegation underpinning the original claim and submitting completely different and irreconcilable allegations to support the very same claim. <laughs> hey, look, hey, look, hey, look, see, for the lay person who has been watching this, right? You know, most people, you know, we, 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 we go off of salaciousness. We go off of stuff like when we hear something bad about somebody we might not like, you know, people like to gossip about it, right? So that's what I was trying to explain to you earlier. People like to gossip, oh, they found, found Puffy's plane in, you know, in, you know, Istanbul, Turkey somewhere with the black plane and the pictures and all of that. All of that's false, right? I'm going to read that once again because, yeah, man, they coming out. They coming out blazing, dude. Listen. And all that time, I have never seen any attorney display anything remotely like the utter indifference shown by Mr. Blackburn, who is Little Rob's attorney towards his obligations as an attorney. So Karen wrote, I have never seen any lawyer in any pleading in any court accuse people and companies of criminal conduct without the slightest basis and then try to file an amended pleading, then try to get the story right again, an amended pleading completely jetsoning every allegation underpinning the original claims and substituting completely different and irreconcilable allegations to support the very same claims. Wow. Wow. That case, I'm going to tell you right now, and it ain't going to be long. The case against Universal Music and Lucian Grange is going to get dismissed. I can tell you that right now. Period. Point blank. You can count on it. Put your put your put your put your lunch money on that, right? In a letter to the judge Thursday, right? In a listen, in a letter to the judge today, he called the UMG motion a public relations stunt, Mr. Blackburn said, right? That had been filed in a bad in bad faith. They did not have any issues marrying themselves to Mr. Combe when it was popular. Now, suddenly, this is what Mr. Blackburn is re responding with, right? He's, they're basically saying they had no uh, uh, issue marrying themselves to uh, Sean P. Diddy Combs when he was popular. Now, suddenly, they are treating Mr. Combs like he has the play. Blackburn wrote in the letter. <laughs> That's funny. Because that has nothing to do with, that has nothing to do. Those two things are totally separate. One is business. The other one is personal. The The situation that Lil Rod had with uh, uh, Sean P. Diddy Combs, um, he partially claimed was personal, but then the other part was business. And what I think Lil Rod should have did, if he felt like he was owed money, he should have kept it just to the money. And after that, if he felt like it was something other than that, then he should have filed the personal claims and came with it. But yeah. <laughs> and basically in a statement, um, you know, Blackburn also said that Universal Music Group should produce their fina financial records. Let's see what money was used for. Uh, stop trying to escape. See what the money was used for. Stop trying to escape liability. Right. 
And so, like I said, once again, um, yeah, it's going to be it's going to be a fight. It's going to be a real fierce fight here. You know, it's a, and like I said, as you can see with what, what uh, Mr. Blackburn said, you know, Universal Music Group should show their financial records. This is about money. You know what I mean? This is not about um, and stop trying to escape liability. This is not about anything criminal that Sean Puffy Gomes has allegedly done from that perspective. You know what I mean? This is about money for Mr. Blackburn. But like I said, once again, in what the uh, Universal Music Group lawyer is stating, is scathing, man. And like I said, once again, you know, they did file an amended complaint, right? Basically going against everything that they basically alleged the first time, you know, and coming with completely different kind of claims and allegations uh, to support, you know, and, and stating all of this other stuff. And like I said, at the end of the day, yeah. So I, I wanted to, to bring you guys this, man. Like I said, once again, um, <laughs> this is crazy, man. This is crazy. This is crazy. He should have kept it like it's, if, if, if that's what it was. And like I said, you go back to the beginning and you understand what this was all about. This was all about Lil Rod not being feel like he wasn't paid enough money or paid the correct money for help producing PDD's album. I think he did like seven songs. Right. Um, and felt like they were trying to take Lil Rod's publishing away. OK. And once again, whatever paperwork he signed or didn't sign, you know what I mean? You know, you got to handle your business going in. You can't be so excited to work with somebody that you don't really have your, um, your, uh, you know, your eyes dotted and your T's crossed. You know, it's all it's all about money. You know what I mean? And so, like I said, once again, we're going to see, you know, if Diddy feel like he want to fight this because he know they really don't have anything and it's mere accusations. And like I said, I looked at the claim and then looking at that claim, dude, I looked at the pictures and all of that. I didn't see nothing matching or being consistent, right, with what the the um the uh the allegations was. Yeah, it, but not not that, but like like the homeland security part. I get they're basically following up with what the lawsuit says, basically because um you know of the lawsuit itself. So they're basically saying, okay, we did look at this, you know, this is not a local police matter for all of that. And, you know, the lawsuit is actually filed in New York and they, you know, we searched all of his homes. They can, you know, say, Hey, we didn't find anything that would warrant any kind of criminal activity. Right. What's up, Roosevelt B. Right. Right. So, like I said, you know, with this, like I said, you know, you, people can say anything they want about you, but can they prove it? And you know how people are. They like to gossip and they hear something bad about somebody who's doing good and they immediately want to jump to conclusions. You know what I mean? And so, like I said, once again, when we're talking about this situation here, you know, Universal Music Group has just, uh, yeah, they just un unlocked and, and they loaded it and they firing back. And like I said, I told you guys, the first video I did, I told you guys that, yo, that they shouldn't have included Lucian Grange in the lawsuit. He don't have nothing to do with Diddy's doing, you know, personally, anything like that. And to say that, oh, he, they somehow funded, you know, this thing that, you know, uh, Lil Rod is, is, is accusing him of is, 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 it is reckless though. It is reckless. Like I said, you've never heard. Um, Universal Music Group, like they, they you know, you might have heard of record companies doing stuff, you know, as far as you know, royalties and things like that, and then somebody having to sue and stuff like that. But like, help running some kind of sex trafficking ring, and the way that he made it sound, and like, like a Rico, like you know, it's a racketeering organization, as if like all of these people are together trying to, like, come on, man, there's too much money involved. You don't have to do things like that, man. You know what I mean? Just like they just said recently that 50 Cent's baby mama was somewhat on the payroll or something like that, right? You know, nobody handcuffed her and made her get on the payroll, if that's true. I don't know if it's true or not, right? But if that is true, she wanted to be on the payroll. And it's all good. You see, there's pictures with her and Puffy together. I guess they had some kind of friendship, relationship, or whatever it was, right? From that perspective. And so all of these accusations 
being made, whether they are true or not true, is with grown adults. You know, it's it's like I'm gonna tell you was having an affair, or I'm gonna tell that you know, you know, I seen you do something with you know this person or that. Like, dude, that's between grown consenting adults. That's nothing criminal, right? And so to put that in any kind of filing or anything like that, once again, it doesn't matter. That's between that person and um, Diddy, you know. You know, so like I said, once again, in all of those those accusations, Universal say we're not settling nothing. You're not going to get a dime from us because that would then make them complicit, right? That would make them complicit in the whole thing to see something like this. And Universal Group Music Group would never be able to get back their reputation if they even talked about settling with Lil Rod. Period. You know? So, yeah. He didn't jump on it. But but like I said, I tell you what, I tell you what, Sean P. Diddy Combs didn't jump on no private plane. He had his kids with him. They had already, from what from what the, the 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 flight manifest showed, they already had some kind of scheduled situation going on. Because if he was really running, he would. Don't you think he would have took all his kids with him, and would nobody had been at the house? You know what I'm saying? See this 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 type of thing, you know, um, you know, involves people using a little bit of common sense. You know what I mean? Like I said, I'm not slanted either way for or against P Diddy, right? No. But like I said, we can't be unreasonable in our expectations of what we've seen on the internet and somebody putting a picture of a black jet and saying that they spotted P. Diddy, he on the run and his jet is somewhere. But when we see the actual real live factual photos of P. Diddy um, being stopped by the uh, uh, Border Patrol people and, and, and the agents and things, we can see that clearly that the plane that he was getting on was white. Go look over the internet. They might be trying to yank them little stories down now. Right? Yeah. So, like I said, once again, when I just did the live involving the Tupac situation and comparing the situation on, on how um, they basically tried, the media tries to destroy your reputation and your name before you're actually charged with any kind of crime. Like I said, this is a civil case making uh, mere allegations. It has nothing to do with anything criminal, right? Nobody has been charged with anything criminal. They have shown you not one piece of evidence of anything, right? Okay, cool. So I'm not, and, and but most of us can't stop at that. We you know what? I haven't seen anything. They ain't charging with none, so they must don't have none. And and anybody who's been in any dealing with any kind of um uh has been in trouble before if i say you know you've seen times where hey man we've seen black men put in jail for for rapes and murders that they didn't commit do 27 years and all of a sudden because of da uh, D, uh, dna evidence or some kind of um um some a witness recanting their statement they get let out of prison so you 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 you, you see what i'm saying it's like we 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 do this thing, man. And like I said, I always like to try to reserve judgment, man. Like I said, you know, I don't know nothing. It sounds crazy, you know, until you get the facts. Then they threw Jay Z name in there once again. They threw Jay Z's name in there. You know, Jay Z was I don't know, man. Look, prior to Jay Z becoming who people know him to be, a lot of you people didn't even know Jay Z. But now all of a sudden, Jay Z was doing X, Y, and Z. He was with such and such. Like what? He was with Beyonce. He was with Foxy Brown. He was with this person. He was with that person. Nobody knows that. But the two people that were together, I haven't heard Foxy Brown say anything about it. Y'all may have. Like I said, I don't know. You know, so I re reserve the right to like, like I say, hold on, you know, boom. But like we see right now, we're going to see this lawsuit right here against Universal Music Group and Lucian Grange be dismissed shortly. I could tell you that. It was erroneously, erroneously filed and reckless in its um, accusations and alleging a lot of things that it alleged. I'm not saying anything about Puffy, right? But like I said, 
Go look at the lawsuit for yourself. Stop taking everybody else's word and look and see if the pictures in that lawsuit match up, right? Match up with anything being said in the lawsuit. The underage girls, you know, that 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 sound real good, don't it, though? Like, you know, when you're trying to really get somebody, the underage girls, you know, and blah, blah, blah. Dude, none of that's been proven. None of that's been proven. Yeah, Festo, I believe you. You, you, like I said, when you say man, Festo says, everybody look at Festo's comment. Festo says, "Stop it, bro. These cats going down. You part of the problem. Scared to say something, brother. From day one, I've been saying something. I just haven't been saying what you want me to say. You see what I mean? Because I think for myself, right? You see. So now, what you, what you're saying now is Festo, give us one piece of uh, information that you have that's factual and true. Then. We're going to wait for Festo right now because he came in here. Festo came in here, you know. Uh, uh, yeah, come on, Festo. We're going to give you one minute. Come on, Festo. What, what information that you got is true and factual? Let's go. Absolutely. A, A, D, 6, 5, D. D, 6, 5, D, you absolutely right. Lil Rod lawyer threw everything but the kitchen sink in, and he was hoping for a quick settlement like Cassie. Absolutely. That's what it was. And guess what? That's not going to happen. And we could see with this uh, motion to dismiss all of the charges that that's not going to happen. Like I said, if Diddy did something, yo, he, he going to be charged. They going, they not going, they definitely not going to, um, yeah. Yeah. They, this, 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 it's going to be dismissed, man. It was, like I said, he was trying to like, like D, uh, D six, five, uh, D, um, D six, five C said, right. They threw everything at the case, put all of these names in there. They even, I, I, from what I understand, they redid the lawsuit and put uh, uh, Prince Harry in there. <laughs> they put Prince Harry in this new filing, dude. Right? Like what Prince Harry, did, did, did Lil Rod meet Prince Harry? You, you understand what I'm saying? And so... We, we have to understand and tread lightly in how we move about and in, in the accusations that people made and the stuff that we believe. But like I said, once again, I'm, I'm going to read this one more time. Check this out. <laughs> and this is what, like I said, this is what Universal, a longtime lawyer and litigator, is basically saying about Little Rod's lawyer. And I'm going to give it to you one more time. He said, in all that time, that he has never seen any attorney in his life, any attorney display anything remotely like the utter indifference shown by Mr. Blackburn towards his obligations as an attorney. Zakarin wrote, I have never seen any lawyer in any pleading, in any court, accuse people and companies of criminal conduct without the slightest basis and then try to file an amended pleading completely jetsoning every allegation underpinning the original claims and substituting completely different and irreconcilable allegations to support the very same claims. Do you understand that? It's serious, man. They saying that, that they trying to paint uh, Mr. Blackburn as an ambulance chaser. In, in, in other words, you know, and so now, once again, you know, it's going to be put up a shut up because in, in, in responding to uh, the lawsuit that, that, that they filed, I mean, the motion to dismiss that they filed, um, basically all Mr. Blackburn, Mr. Blackburn in a letter to the judge Thursday. In a letter to the judge, not in a response to the motion to dismiss the claims. Listen, listen, y'all. They filed a motion to dismiss the claims, Universal and, and Mr. Lucian Grange. From what I'm understanding, uh, Mr. Blackburn only wrote a letter to the judge. In a letter to the judge Thursday, Mr. Blackburn called Universal Music Group's motion a public relations stunt that had been filed in bad faith. 
that's that's weak. That's weak on his knees, man. Saying what the judge look at this like what? Well, put up why their motion is bad and it was filed in bad faith. Because if their motion was filed in bad faith, then basically what made your lawsuit in good faith from that perspective? You know, the judge is going to ask. Listen, Mr. Blackburn is saying about uh, Universal Music, they're filing. They did not have any issues marrying themselves to Mr. Combs when it was popular. Now, suddenly, they are treating Mr. Combs like he has the plague, Blackburn wrote. No, they're not. What they're basically saying is we had nothing to do with that. And once again, you can't just add somebody to the lawsuit because they got deep pockets hoping that somebody is going to settle the lawsuit like Cassie lawsuit would settle. You see what I'm saying? That's what Mr. Blackburn was hoping for, but it's not going to happen, at least with Universal Music Group, right? And then you can see that it's all about money, right? Because Mr. Blackburn also made a statement uh, to Billboard Music, uh, and he said, Universal Music Group should produce their financial records. Let's see what the money was used for. Stop trying to escape liability. Wow. Yeah. So it's about to go down, ladies and gentlemen. You know, like I said, I just had to bring that to you guys. And um, we'll, we're going to see what happens. You know what I mean? We're going to see what happens. Yeah, like I said, whether, you know, whether they, you know, beat, it's not even beat the case because there's really no case to beat. I mean, the burden of proof is on Lil Rod and them. Like I said, if you look at the filing, I didn't see anything. I didn't personally see anything that matched up to those pictures that went with those words in the filing. Right? And so there's going to be things that Little Rodnam are going to have to produce in order to be able to make their claims, um, to, to back up their claims. And it just ain't going to be pictures through a cell phone, you know, from that perspective. You know what I mean? So what's up, Darian? Yeah, you know, it's, it's not going to be the pictures through the cell phone or nothing like that. You're going to have to have hard facts and information you know, in regards to that. And notice, notice the same day that Puffy was, Puffy's homes, homes were being raided is the same day that Universal and Lucian Grange filed their lawsuit. Because they understood, oh, this is serious now. Okay, let's go. It's all, it's all guns blazing. And that's what they're going to do. So like I said, we're going to see, uh, what happens with this situation? Yeah, we're going to see what happens with this situation. Like I said, Universal Music Group, Lucian Grange fires back, basically saying that, um, you know, the claims that uh, Mr. Blackburn, uh, you know, that he made against them were reckless and false. Right. So, yeah. And he denies the allegations. Your boy Delray. Thank you, Darian. I appreciate that. Your boy Delray, straight gang.